food hawking is what Sylvia does for a living. For three months, this has been her hustle. So I start on one side, taking one aisle at a time. And um, if I walk through the whole place and I haven't sold, next I walk to maybe the park. Um, where they have the small groups <laughs> and um, after that I also go to Tivoli yeah so okay. I just go around within two to three hours I will have sold all of it some of the food items Sylvia hawks include pizza pockets that go for 80 shillings apple pie which sells at 70 bob mango pie tea as well as sausage rolls then of course there is the flagship product pretzels i'm not an educated person let me just say that right off i'm not an educated person i never went to high school i went only through grade school in america we have first through eighth grade so i went through eighth grade and my dad was like i need you to work in my business the office come in the office schedule with clients i need you there on the phone sylvia and her friend eve Uching started the business in september selling foodstuffs by the roadside but that move did not go down well with their spouses i love what she she's doing she's okay with it uh everyone like our families are okay with it so that's why i'm very supportive all right yeah after everything went kind of viral <laughs> he sat me down and he's like you know this is the business that you and i started we are working on this and i i hear you're going to the streets he's like are you okay with hawking? But after selling by the roadside for two days, Sylvia and Eve acquired a space at a business complex located near car wash area and set up Mzungu pretzels. Chai ni healthy kushinda hata hizi zetu. Hizi zetu ni wanaweka majani chai tu na sukari na maji. Unauziwa na hapa kuna kila kitu ndani. Ukionja ina ladha fulani. Na hiyo ladha ndio ilituvutia sana. Ndio maana tukaamua satue customers wa hii place. Nimeonja Nimesikia utamu wake ni tofauti na ya, ya Europe hapa. Sylvia came to Kenya in the company of her parents through a conservative Christian mission. A few weeks after they arrived in Kisumu, she met her husband Kelvin. Kelvin owns an electronic shop where he repairs computers, laptops and mobile phones. Okokusa NTV.